The U.S. Air Force has successfully tested an intercontinental ballistic missile in California. The overnight test is the military's own show of force in the wake of North Korea's recent testing of two missiles capable of hitting North America. Hannah Doba has the latest. Exactly one week after North Korea launched its second recent test of a missile capable of reaching the United States, the U.S. Air Force just launched its own intercontinental ballistic missile test this morning from California. Despite this flexing of military might, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson insists the U.S. is pushing for a peaceful dialogue with Pyongyang. We're trying to convey to the North Koreans, we are not your enemy, we're not your threat, but you are presenting an unacceptable threat to us. Over at the White House, Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders is trying to convey that while the president offered input, he did not craft Donald Trump Jr.'s first statement about a meeting with a Russian lawyer. Critics call that initial recounting of the event misleading because it stated the meeting was purely about adoption, with no mention of potentially getting political dirt on Hillary Clinton. The president weighed in as any father would based on the limited information that he had. There was some less controversial news on Capitol Hill. Senate lawmakers, in a show of bipartisan support, voted 92 to 5 Tuesday afternoon to confirm Christopher Wray, President Trump's pick to lead the FBI. We need leaders with steel spines, not weak knees. I believe that Mr. Wray will be such a leader. The 50-year-old former Justice Department lawyer who replaces James Comey pledged during his confirmation hearing last month to remain independent from any political pressure. Hannah Doba, CBS News. Ray also testified that he was never asked to swear loyalty to the president, but had he had been, he would have said no.